Governor Sheri Makinde is not the leader of the Southwest PDP, so says former Governor Ayodele Fayoshi. And Rivers APC crisis takes a new turn as Rotimi Amechi is suspended by the chairman of an opposing faction in the state. This is Plus Politics. I am Coyote Ladeni. Welcome, this is Plus Politics. Let's get talking. The crisis rocking the Southwest chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has been infused with a new development. Former Governor of Ikiti State, Ayodele Fayo, she has stated that the Oyo State Governor, Shei Makinde, is not the leader of the region's uh, PDP. He noted that leadership should be earned and not for anyone as a title. He said, and I quote, Governor Makinde is not my leader. He is my follower. Respect should beget respect. I have been a warrior. End of quote. Okay, still part of the things he said. The thought I will be with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission now, but I am surviving. End of quote. Joining us to discuss this, we have the spokesperson to former Governor of Ikiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi, Mr. Liri Olainka. Good evening, Mr. Lira Lainka. Yeah, good evening. And also joining us in this conversation is uh, a chieftain of the PDP based in Lagos, Dr. Tokumbo Pierce, who is, just to put it on record, an ardent uh, supporter of Governor Shiyuma Kinde. Good evening, Dr. Pierce. Uh, please, uh, I would, I would uh, beg that you move your mouth close to the phone so that we can hear you more audibly. Let me start with Mr. Olainka. Uh, I remember the last time we had this conversation, you were, in, you were very, very unequivocal that, uh, that uh, 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 the governor of your state is not in doubt that he's a leader of the party, but he cannot, you know, uh, be supporting two different factions. That seems to be your disagreement with him. Uh, uh, is your language different from that of your principal this time around? Well, well, like, like, like I've maintained, you also remember that I did say that leadership is not is not is not by appointment. It's not by by it's not a chief title, and you should also remember that I did say that the leadership of the party is not what is enshrined in the constitution of PDP. There's nowhere it is written that Mr. A B C D will be leader by recover by on the basis of positioning. So. And, I've, and, and, and I'll, there's nothing different from what I've said with what uh, 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 my boss, Ayopao Shea, has also said. Leadership is about you saying, oh, I am, I am, I am, it is about me considering that you are my leader. It's not about you saying you are my leader. And that is, that is how it is. It, it, it is the right of uh, Governor Ayopao Shea to choose who, who, we, who, who, who we want to as we want to see as a leader, or who we want to see as not being a leader? He has he has said his own opinion as he feel that he should it, it should be. It is his right. It is also the right of those who are those who are concluding that Governor Shima Kide is their leader. As for me now, in the as far as PDP Southwest is concerned. Governor Shema Kinde is not my leader. Because as far as I'm concerned, he met me in this party. He joined this party in 2018. And so I, he met me here. Yeah. He cannot come, he cannot come to PDP in 2018 and now begin to also lord himself over us. He has never been a consistent member of PDP. Okay. Thank you so much. Dr. Pierce, I, 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 if I understand what Mr. Lira Lainka is saying, I, I think it agrees with the statement of uh, the former president of the United States, talking about Abraham Lincoln, that no one is good enough to be a leader without the consent of others. Is that the case that uh, the former governor of the state has stated here? The... the 
the former governor of uh, Ekiti State has the right to determine who his leader will be in the Southwest or anywhere else. If he chooses to say that Shaima Kinde is not his leader, he has every right to do that. The issue, however, is what determines leadership in the Southwest PDP. If Shay Makinde, as the only governor, elected governor that the PDP has in the Southwest, is not the leader of the Southwest, then who is the leader of the Southwest? Is it the former governor of Fikichi State that is the leader of the Southwest or who else? This is the issue. Leadership, according to um, Mark Inde's uh, fire chair spokesperson, is not by appointment. Very true. But Mark Inde is not governor by appointment. He is the governor of Oyo State by election, the voice of the people. And it is the, through that medium of the voice of the people that elected him as the governor of Oyo State that he has become, by convention, the leader of the Southwest PDP. Now, that is not to say that Fire Sheikh cannot determine, because evidently Fire Sheikh is a man who has no leader and has no direction and has no focus except to destabilize and cause confusion. Okay. So uh, if he wants to say he uh, has no leader, that's his own problem. But that does not mean that, uh, that Mackinde is not the leader of the Southwest. Everybody in the Southwest cannot accept any one person as a leader. Okay, thank in you. a democracy, you have election. Some people will vote for you, others will not. Okay, Mr. T Mr. Pierce, as as Dr. Pierce, the highest vote, Dr. Pierce, Dr. Pierce, I, I, I know uh, this is already getting into some physical uh, name calling, but uh, just to stay with you before I go back to Mr. Lainka, can we also look at the import of the statement made by the former governor of Ekiti State that there is a clan, there was a clandestine move to get him behind, uh, 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 to be arrested by EFCC, that if such a person is doing this to him, how can that person be called a leader? Not just his leader, but that is not the attribute of a leader. Have you considered that statement? Looking at the statement that was made when he came out of the net of EFCC at that time. Dr. Pierce, are you there? Yes, I am. Please, uh, did you hear my question? Well, look. I think I understand the, the question. It appears to me that for fire or shade, leadership is determined by rascality. Leadership is determined by notoriety. In other words, you know, in, the, in those days, uh, in uh, many African countries, it is only when you have gone to jail and you come out that you cannot boast to be a leader. I think that is the mentality that Fire She has. Okay, let me. Let, if he I, wants I, I, to I think claim the name, to be the name a calling... because he has gone through hellfire and he has survived, because he has abused everybody from predicting that uh, Buhari would die. To insulting every leader okay. he knows, that makes him a leader. That makes him the leader of the area boys. Okay, Dr. Pears, Dr. Pears, I, I, I think I need to please uh, put a caution here. Please, let's watch our use of words here and stay on the issues that has been raised by the former governor of Ekiti State. Dr. Uh, Mr. Alainka, I know you are itching to respond, but I don't know if you can go a different route by looking at the issues rather than name calling. Go ahead. 
Well, 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 I'm going to I'm going to go into issues because uh, like like those who know me know that I don't I don't join pigs to wrestle. I don't wrestle with pigs, so I won't I won't, that, I won't go that, butter that's, with that's a, a that's the worst one. That's that's the worst uh, name I, calling. I, I is it is it is it when he was when the man was calling a former governor that uh, the somebody who was governor twice that he, he does not have focus. You did not stop it. I tried to was talking about Fire Shea being a big leader of area boys. You don't is it the issue here is that Fire Shea has been governor of equity twice. I want to ask these people who are in Lagos, what have they been in Lagos? What what have they what have they been able to deliver for PDP? The man that they call their leader in Lagos, as he for was be delivered his polling unit. You see, we are talking about leadership by political achievement. Fauci has been governor twice. He won election in Lekiti State twice. He defeated Incuben twice. He has done that twice. Let them also bring their results. Let them bring what they have been able to do politically. Have they been able to deliver anything for PDP in Lagos State? The answer is no. And I understand the, the, the problem of the, 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 the fellow that just spoke. They, 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 have been running, they have been running PDP in Lagos State like a merchandise. When there is election, they take PDP to body loan and they sell PDP to, 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 to the man in the, at, at body loan and they collect, they collect money, they go back to their house, share the money and wait for another four years. That's... That is not going to happen any longer. PDP, PDP, PDP must get focused. PDP must be made to be able to win election in Lagos, and that is that is the page that we that we are. Let me let, let, let me now go to the issue of leadership. Like I have said, Governor Shema Kinde was elected governor of your state. He was not elected premier of Southwest. He was elected governor of your state. He, 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 he was not elected governor of 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 Ekiti State. And I've asked questions on several platforms. Because we have one governor in the southwest, what about zones, regions where we have three, four governors? Who is now the leader of PDP in the south south where we have six governors? Who is the leader of PDP in the north central where we have three governors? Who is the leader of PDP in the north in the northwest where we have two governors? You see, it is leadership like he has also consented. It's not, it is by convention, it is by consent, it is people considering leadership. And if, if by act, by attitude, by pronouncement of Governor Shei Makinde, he has not lived up to that, to that, to that responsibility of being called a leader. Whose fault? Let me let, let me take you to the issue of EFCC. The last time we spoke, I was so diplomatic, I was like, oh, the issue will be resolved and all that. But but when Governor Shema Kide now choose to go to go to go to the public glare and say that Governor Fayo was 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 obnobbing with APC because of the case he has with EFCC, that to me is the height of political irresponsibility. And Fayo Shea was taken to EFCC because of his stand for PDP. When Fayo was the only voice of PDP in this country. Where was Governor Shei Makinde? Okay. Of course, it was Mr. in SDP. Lainka. It was in SDP. Mr. Lainka, before you accuse me of so, not so, uh, giving you room, I think I've given you enough room to respond to that. Uh, trust me, I'll be back to you. And uh, it appears that uh, the name calling is becoming a difficult thing to avoid. But I will try my best. I will try my best to stay on the issues. M Dr. Pierce, now, uh, irrespective of what uh, Mr. Lainka has said, there is a germane question that he has asked. If you agree that this is by convention, and he has also asked this question, if it is not only Shehima Kide that is the governor of PDP in Southwest, where is this title issue coming from? Do they have any, you know, any legitimate power to decide who becomes uh, the chairman of a state to take some basic decision? Um. This issue of uh, leadership in any geopolitical zone is not in the Constitution per se. You remember when, when Trump won the first election, he lost the popular vote by 3 million votes to Mr. Clinton, and millions of people got on the streets and said, he's not my president. That is their prerogative. 
they did not vote for him. He is not their president. Nonetheless, you cannot contest the fact that since he won the election legally, he has become the president of the country. This is democracy. So I agree with uh, Governor Fayoshe, who says he does not accept Makinde as his leader. Fine. But for goodness sake, leave the political terrain to be conducted the way it should be conducted, which is to say, look, democracy is governorship, rulership by convention and by gentlemen's agreement. Look, I don't want to call Governor Fiosh, former Governor Fayosh any name, but his own actions convict him. Look, this issue is a question of understanding and consensus. Look at what happens in any election. When you lose, you concede. You don't say <coughs> the dog and the baboon will both be soaked in blood. This is what Fire Shay is doing now. We know that Makinde is not the governor of Fikichi. He's not the governor of Ogun State. And he, the, 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 the spokesperson gave an example. He said, what about in geopolitical zones when there are more than one governor? All of those governors become the leaders of the party in that zone. It is only because we have won that Makinde becomes automatically the leader. Please understand that. Also, this man keeps saying we've not achieved anything in Lagos. I don't want to call you any names, but please, you use your common sense and think about it. We may not have got governor. I said it to you before. We've had six members of the House of Representatives. We have won elections to 22 council seats in Lagos. We have won eight elections to the Lagos State Assembly. And we are trying our best in every election. Okay. When Governor Fayeshe was the Southwest, was the, was the governor of Ekiti, and the only governor we had in the geopolitical zone, you remember, he was automatically, by convention, by a gen gentleman's agreement, to be the leader of the Southwest. Okay, Dr. Pierce. And he led Dr. us Pierce. astray. Dr. Pez, let's, let's continue our conversation from that realm, and I will allow uh, 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 Mr. Olainka to uh, either support that view you just raised, giving us some statistics. I am also aware some of these figures you put out there that they are not, uh, they are not, uh, it's not something you debate. I know PDP wants some seats, but probably he has a different interpretation to what he was saying, and also, what about the reference he made that when she was the governor, it was not a dispute that this is the leader in the region. You see, you see, you see, you see, you see it is when it is convenient for us, we push position. And I have been, I have, I have, I have stayed in this party enough to know how things were done in the past. In 2016, for instance, PDP had two governors in the southwest, Ayoshe and uh, Mimiko of Ondo State. Then, when we were having when we were having the Sonar Congress in Akure, other people were also having co Sonar Congress in Ijebu Igbo. Some people, most of these people are saying, oh, Father Mackinde is now the, is the supreme leader of PDP in the Southwest. Insisted then that late Senator Buru Dikashamu was the leader of the party in the Southwest. Even when we had two governors, this is not the first time. Even when we had two governors, some of them were going to Ijebu Igbo to meet with Senator Buru Dikashamu as leader of the PDP in the Southwest. That was the person they, 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 they took, they, they agreed, was leader of the party in their own estimation. It, it, it was their right. Nobody, nobody questioned them. Nobody, nobody, because there was nothing like this. And let me also say this, frankly, expressly, when Fayoshe was the only governor of PDP in the Southwest, and I will give one example. In Noshu State, Senator Mishore, who was very, very close to Fayoshe then, wanted Shibai of Afuriji as chairman of PDP, of PDP in Noshu State. Omishore wanted Fahuriji as chairman. 
The other people in also wanted uh, 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 Soji Adagumodo as chairman. Why did Fayoshe not, is, why did he not insist that time? Why did he not impose uh, Bayo Fafuriji as chairman of PDP in also state? At the end of the day, it was, it was Soji Adagumodo that emerged as PDP chairman. Not by of Apology that was okay. supported, that was promoted by Omishori, who was, and, 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 I, and I will say this today, one of the reasons that Senator Omishori had to fall out with Fayoshe was because Omishori felt Fayoshe ought to have used his position as the only governor in the Southwest to impose his candidate in Osho over the people of Osho State, PDP of Osho State. Fayoshe did not do that. In, then, okay. Then, was okay. Fayoshe the, was Fayoshe the one, let, let, let me conclude this, was Fayoshe the one who made, uh, who made, uh, was the Salvador chairman of PDP in Lagos State? Did he? The file she made uh, the chief Alaji uh, Mustafa, PDP chairman in Osun State, in the United States. Right? Okay. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Lainka, let's, let's round off this conversation. And uh, that is actually my concern as a moderator. And uh, if Dr. Pierce could help me, I think I wish that uh, next time we have this conversation, it shouldn't be about who is the leader. It shouldn't be about two factions. It should be about, let's calm some nerves. Let's come together. <laughs> See if I'm a member of PDP. You guys can come together and actually my, my, provide my, my brother, a viral my brother, opposition. Can I come in there, finally. And let, my brother, can I come in here finally? You will come in. I said this the last time, the last time you had me here. Okay. What is happening in PDP is normal. It is normal. We it is, it is not looking issues. normal again. It is normal. It is not looking normal, but it will be normal. <laughs> it is about it is about it is a struggle for control. I said it. We are going to be having Sonar Sonar Congress next year, early next year, maybe January or February or March. We are going to have Sonar Congress. And as it is, there are two candidates now. There is one from Moyo. There is one from Mundo. At the end of the day, there will be election. Whoever, whoever emerges as as zona and you will of agree. PDP, all of us will all Beautiful. of us will line up behind that person. I will follow the person. It's as simple as that. Okay, let so me. What let I'm me, saying is that I, we, I think we, your we, point we, is let, clear. Let, let me conclude. Let me. Let me. Let we me don't have that time, Doc, Mr. It, Olainka. It is okay. Quickly, it is a game. Fauci is playing his own game. Others should also play their own game. It is as simple as that. Okay, good. Let's hope it's as simple as that. Is that the position of the Dr. Kumbo Pierce? That let's leave the let's leave the divisions going until there is uh, a convention or, or a congress. Uh, I agree. I agree with Fire Chief Spokesman entirely. This is the political game that is being played. In fact, Plato. A great philosopher the, the, the defines politics as war by other means. So this is war you are seeing now, especially in a democracy as practiced in PDP. All I appeal to the former governor of Ekiti is that he should play this game with decency. He should play this game with the understanding that if he is too uh, aggressive and too negative about this game that it may destroy the team. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I apologize if Governor McKinney said anything about the SEC problem for, for, for the Ekiti, for my Ekiti governor, because I know that it was working for PDP that got him into trouble. That is true. But campaigning against McKinney does not help the party in any way. Okay, good. Campaign for your candidates in the Zona Congress, which is what this is about, by the way. It's mainly about the Zona Congress. So let us say campaign for your candidates, but for goodness sake, keep it civil <coughs> so that at the end of the day, we can all come together for the progress of the party. Thank you so much. That's a very wonderful way that two of you have ended this conversation. And I must say, a big thank you to Larry Olainka, who is the spokesperson to former governor of Ikiti State, Ayodili Fayoshe. And uh, uh, a big thank you to Dr. Tokumbo Pierce, uh, a chief train of PDP in Lagos. And I must also say that a former governorship aspirant in PDP here in Lagos. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, Ooh, and thank you for joining us. Our viewers will take a short break now, and when we return, 
The war brewing in the River State chapter of the APC is up next for discussion. Please don't go anywhere.